Welcome to the homestead. I'm standing right next to my bright, shiny, red, new pitcher pump. If you've been watching us for any amount of time, you know that we've gone without water in the house for a very long time. It's been about three years. And um, I never imagined that I would do it all that time. And now I have water in the house and I will never take my pitcher pump for granted. It's awesome, I love it. It pumps five gallons of water per minute. Um, I'll just demonstrate for you. One pump, it's like a geyser. <laughs> it comes out so fast and strong and I can fill my sink in nothing flat, it's, it's awesome. Um, we bought it on Amazon. It, uh, I think, was around, what, $50, something like that. The price may have changed since we purchased ours. But we bought it on Amazon. Um, it only came in red, but I kind of like the red. You know, it's a, it's a classic farmhouse pitcher pump color. So to explain all of the maintenance of the pump and priming it and all of those things, Zach is going to come over and take it apart and show you how it works. So when you first install the pump, it has to be primed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. It's a really easy job to take this apart. And then I'll show you how it's hooked up uh, down below. And you can get an idea of just how simple this really is. Very, very simple, you know, easy to maintain. And uh, I'll just bring the camera up close and you can check it out. Okay, so down in here you have, uh, you can't really see it, but I'll take it apart so you can in a few minutes. But there's a, a piece of leather. And that leather, uh, if it's dried out, if you don't use your pump for a while, like we went out, went away for a couple of days and we had to come back, you have to prime the pump. Uh, that leather will dry out and shrink. And so you have to put water down it and let that, that, that leather uh, soak up that water and expand so that it can create a seal to be able to pump out the water. See how that works? So what we're going to do is go ahead and take this apart, give you an idea of, of that leather and just how it's hooked up below. Okay, so take this thing apart. It's really easy. All you need is a crescent wrench and it'll take you just about a minute. So there you go, it's fully disassembled and you can see this is the flapper valve that basically just comes off like that there. And this allows the water, it's basically a check valve that keeps the water up at the, at the right level. Uh, right now I've pulled this off so the water has sank down into the tube. Um, this is uh, the seal, it's made of cowhide and this cowhide uh, basically expands when it's wet and if you don't use it for a while and it shrinks, um, you won't have a seal so you have to prime it. So after you've maybe not used it, for, if you go away for a couple of days and you come back, um, you're going to have to prime the pump because uh, this will have dried out and you won't have a seal. And so you just put a little bit of water down the hole, down the top here, and this will soak it, the leather will soak up the water and expand to create that seal again so that you can now pump uh, the water again out of the well. That's simple, very easy, straightforward, take it apart in less than about a minute, and you can, it puts together about the same way in about a minute. Okay, now it's back together. We'll go ahead and give it a test. See how fast the water comes back up to the top. There it is, right there. Ready and raring to go. So, uh, very easy, like I said, to take apart, put together, to maintain it, uh, to replace any parts that may go bad on them, which I don't think this is going to happen all that often um, based on what we read online. So, it's, it's pretty... Uh, it's built like a tank. I mean, <laughs> it just is. So um, let me go ahead and take you down below and show you how it's all hooked up. Okay, so there's the pump at the sink. And if all you got to do is just look down here. And you see the pipe. That's connected here. And it runs down through the house. And below the house, it runs to a, the pipe that goes underneath the house over to our storage tank underground. Now, you may have watched a video in the past where we were digging out the hole. Uh, digging out the trench uh, to put this pipe in so that we could hook up that and so it's just pretty simple not that big a deal it's got some bolts holding it down the base 
and a pipe coming down through the sink and uh, it works really well. I mean, just it, that that pump is very strong to pull out uh, that um, uh, that water that's in that tank and in that line, that buried uh, water line uh, uh, down below the ground. It's about down below, I think, about a foot deep. So if you go over here, I go outside, you can see there's the water tank right there. It's connected to. There's the pump. We don't have the solar uh, motor hooked up to this yet, but that's something else we're going to be doing here very soon so that we can pump uh, water automatically from that into that tank um, it just with a flip of a switch, and it'll all be solar powered. I hope you enjoyed our pitcher pump demonstration. We, when we were looking to get water into our off-grid house, we looked at a number of different options, and this is the one we chose, and I'm so happy that we chose it. Actually, I really love how it looks sitting on my counter. Thanks for watching. See you next time on The Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.